Katie Ledecky is one of the best athletes the world has ever seen. And yeah, not just in swimming, but across all sports, she is considered one of the greatest of all time. When she was just 15 years old, she won the 800 meter freestyle at the London Olympics. After exploding onto the scene as a teenager, the American swimmer claimed the distance swimming throne, and this distance queen hasn't given it up ever since. Katie is considered a dominant force in every freestyle event ranging from the 200 up to the mile. She beats her competition by multiple body lengths, sometimes even 25 meters or more. She's so good that in every race, Katie is racing against herself. Over the years, she has won multiple Olympic medals, dozens of world championship medals, and broken too many world records to count. Her dominance is often compared with Michael Phelps, but Katie is in a league of her own. She has built her own legacy that will go down in swimming history for decades and even centuries to come. Welcome to My Swim Pro, and today we're going to break down Katie Ledecky's incredible swimming career, her training philosophy, and what makes her so dominant in the water. Let's start from the beginning. Swimming is in Katie's blood. Growing up in Maryland, she started swimming at the age of six, following her older brother Michael's footsteps. The siblings chose to join a local summer swim league to make new friends. And that was just a catalyst that kicked off Katie's love for the sport. Early on, it became clear that Katie was a swimming prodigy. She loved racing and eventually convinced her parents to let her swim year round. They catered to her 5 a.m. practices, spent hours cheering her on at meets, and helped her find the right team to nurture her incredible skills. Katie trained with the nation's capital swim club in the Washington, D.C. area throughout high school. During this time, she crushed nine swim workouts per week and averaged about 60 to 70,000 yards total. Katie's high school experience was a trip. One day, she might be racing at a high school meet, beating her competitors by 30 or more seconds. The next day, she'd be competing at the Tier Pro Series, racing against the world's top swimmers and throwing down world record times. In 2015, Katie finished her high school swimming career with a school record in every single swimming event except the 100 breaststroke and an Olympic medal, but more on that later. Katie's intense training schedule paid off. In 2012, at the age of 15, Katie made a splash at the US Olympic trials. She was the youngest swimmer at the meet. Not only was she the youngest swimmer at the meet, but she made the Olympic team in the 800 meter freestyle, finishing third in the 400 meter freestyle and ninth in the 200 freestyle. Not too shabby. When she made her international debut at the 2012 London Olympic Games, she gave us a glimpse of what she has to offer. In the women's 800 meter freestyle final, Katie surprised us all, taking gold by over four seconds and breaking the American record that had stood since 1989. What a way to come onto the international scene. If you talk to Katie's coach, Bruce Gemmel, and Katie herself, you'd hear a different story about how the race unfolded. Did Katie win? Sure. But did she swim the race the right way? Well, not quite. She went out fast, real fast, and let her adrenaline take over. And that made a lot of people wonder, what was she capable of if she swam her best race? Well, we were about to find out. Over the next three years, Katie threw down some insane races. She broke the 1500 freestyle world record five times, the 800 free world record three times, and the 400 free world record once in this time frame alone. That's more than some pro swimmers do in their entire careers. Most memorably, Katie dropped six seconds off her 1500 freestyle world record at the 2014 Pan Pacific Championships. She lapped three of her competitors in the final and finished 27 seconds ahead of the second place swimmer. The US national team director Frank Bush said Katie's performance was the most impressive race he had ever seen. And I believe it. At the 2015 World Championships in Kazan, Russia, Katie won gold in the 200, 400, 800, and 1500 meter freestyles. She's the first swimmer to do that ever in a major international competition. After some stellar performances in early 2016, Katie was ready for the Summer Olympics in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. She qualified for the 200, 400, and 800 meter freestyle events. And in no surprise to anyone, world records continued to be the theme of Katie's Rio run. 
She kicked off her individual events with a world record and a gold medal in the 400 free, breaking her previous record by two seconds and finishing five seconds ahead of the silver medalist, Jazz Carlin. In the 800, Katie beat Jazz again, this time by 11 seconds. She set another world record, finishing in 804.79 and bagging another gold medal. She also won gold in the 200 meter freestyle, outtouching Sweden's Sarah Hoistrom with a personal best of 153.73. Katie was the first swimmer to sweep the 200, 400, and 800 freestyle at the Olympics since 1968. After winning gold in the 800 freestyle relay and silver in the 400 freestyle relay, Katie was the second most decorated athlete at the 2016 Olympics, only behind the great Michael Phelps. After a historic Olympic performance, Katie turned her focus to college. She started her freshman year at Stanford University in 2016 and competed for the Cardinals swim team for two seasons. And she just kept on winning. She won eight national titles, leaving behind NCAA records in the 500, 1000, 1650, 4x100 freestyle relay, and 4x200 freestyle relay. As a college athlete, she broke 11 American records and 15 NCAA records, par for the course for the great Katie Ledecky. Her success translated into international competition as well. At the 2017 World Championships in Budapest, Hungary, Katie added five gold medals and one silver medal to her collection, breaking the record for the most World Championship medals won by a female swimmer. In 2018, Katie decided to turn pro and gave up her final two years of NCAA eligibility. She still trained with her Stanford teammates, but going pro allowed her to take advantage of lucrative sponsorship deals. She inked a six-year, $7 million contract with swimsuit maker Tier. She kept off her pro announcement by breaking her own world record in the 1500 meter freestyle yet again, this time by over five seconds. In 2018, she also graced the cover of National Geographic magazine, and she's the first Olympic swimmer ever to do this. When the COVID-19 pandemic brought the world to a halt and caused the 2020 Summer Olympics to be postponed a full year, many swimmers were devastated. Katie kept her eyes on the prize, getting creative with training and keeping a positive attitude. While her training conditions were not optimal, she used the extra year to work harder, get better, and stay stronger. And surely, that hard work is paying off. At the 2021 US Olympic Trials, Katie qualified for the Olympic team in the 200, 400, 800, and 1500 meter freestyle events. These days, the public has come to know and love Katie as the swimmer who always delivers a stellar performance. Team USA gold medalist and captain Simone Manuel has said that when Katie swims, people expect something great. So how does Katie keep cool under all that pressure? Long story short, she's laser focused. She's honed her ability to focus with the help of her coach, Bruce Gemmel. Each year, he and Katie sit down and set big goals. According to Katie, if your goals don't scare you a little, you're doing it wrong. After setting her goals, Katie keeps them to herself. In 2013, Katie and Bruce Gemmel had their eyes set on a 356 for the 400 meter freestyle and an 805 in the 800 meter free. Katie wrote 565 on her pull buoy to keep those goal times in front of her every single day. Her teammates had no idea what the numbers meant. They were reminding Katie every single day what she was capable of. Katie started to outpace many of her female teammates, so she started training with the guys leading up to the Rio Olympics. And it worked. She hit both her goal times. It also helps that Katie enjoys long swim sets. Bruce says that Katie loves the mind-numbing monotony of distance swimming. The continuous back and forth, staring at a black line at the bottom of the pool. And she does a lot of that. She swims doubles on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. And just once on Mondays and Saturdays. Then of course there's dry land training a few times a week as well. Katie gives her all in every session, making the most of every rep and every set. She challenges herself, pushes herself past her limits, and leaving everything that she has in the pool. Even on tough days, she keeps her head up, knowing that it's all part of the process. 
She powers through the water with incredible fortitude, and her technique, while efficient, is often a mystery to many as she swims with a higher tempo and average stroke rate than most of her competitors. From her incredible work ethic and her fierce competitiveness to her mind-blowing speed and impressive longevity, it's safe to say that Katie Ledecky will go down in history as one of the greatest swimmers to ever do it. And the best part? Her story is still being written. Let me know what you think of the Distance Queen down below in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the next video.